Welcome back to Alan's Trains at Stockton Station and I'm back in the bunker to try and solve a problem for you with transferring a PDF from Scale Scenes Kit and getting it through Inkscape and into Design Space within a CryCut machine. I'll show you what the problem appears to be and hopefully the solution. For this example, I'm using the Free Scale Scenes Kit Waybridge Call Office and I'm going to take one component part out of there into a separate sheet. I'm then going to surround it. We're going to copy it. I'm now going to open a new Inkscape file. And I'm going to place that drawing into that file. I'm then also going to save it. It's going to be test 20. We should now be able to open the CryCut program. We then go to New Project and Blank Canvas. We go to Upload. and upload the image and we're going to go and find that test 20 and open it and as you can see nothing comes through to design space so we'll cancel that and go back to our test 20 SVG I'm going to show you how I found it and by taking out the pen tool, as I did in a previous video, and draw around the complete item. If you now then drag that away, the top one is the one that I've drawn, and the bottom one is from the PDF. So you would think that if we then say file, save, and then go back to the CryCut program. Upload the image, browse and find test 20 again, and open. And again, design space does not open that, even though you've got one component that you've just drawn, which will come on its own, but not with the other one attached. So we cancel that and go back to our drawing. If we look at the individual components, if we go to object, fill and stroke, this is how I found it. If I click on my original and go to stroke style, Mine is 0.265, the original is 0.353. You would expect that this would be as clear to see as mine. So if we now go to stroke paint and click on my object, you can see that it's using the RGB selection with them all set on zero and this A set on 100. If we now click on to the one we've imported, there are no colors there. If we click on the CMS, the management system, and go to RGB, now change all of those colors by clicking on, which is sometimes a little difficult, to slide the sliders back to zero, which is the easiest way, and leave the A at 100. You can now see that the imported version is darker than mine because the, fill, the stroke is bigger. If we now surround them and just say object group. File save, which is the same file. And we now go back to the CryCut. If we now upload Upload the image, browse, and go to test 20 again. 
both images appear and if we upload and add to canvas there they are both of them we should now say on screen as one object but before we go to make it press on the attach button or you will only see one image overlaid the other go to make it and there they are on the mat ready to go to the cut well i hope that solution works for you a little bit long-winded but i thought it's best that you see how the problem was solved see you again next time any comments please add at the end of the video thank you